Hey folks, PNW Living here with another Dollar Tree walkthrough. I went to two Dollar Trees this week, one that I go to very regularly, another one that I hardly ever go to, but I found some really uncommon, fun, and pretty rare finds there, so I was very excited. First off, the hummingbird feeders are out. These are not new or rare, um, but they are a sure sign that spring has sprung at the Dollar Tree. One thing I was excited to find was these planters. Now they had these planters over Christmas time, but I wasn't able to find them in my neck of the woods. Um, they have the polar bear, the moose, the penguin, and the walrus. Um, like I said, I was excited to find them because I hadn't seen them in my area. The Dollar Tree um, actually has a really great craft section. Um, it's usually very well stocked, nice and neat, um, easy to find all the things that I'm looking for. They were in the middle of stocking when I came through, so there's a lot of spaces. Um, but the real problem is, is that even though it's very well stocked, I don't tend to find the really neat or interesting, unique items here as often. Um, just the plain old regular stuff so I'm not sure if they just get snapped up before I get to them or if uh, maybe this Dollar Tree doesn't get that stock of those rare and exciting finds. Um, the wood section was pretty pricked over but they like I said they were stocking on this day. I did find these rub-on transfers uh, they were pretty cute I might have seen them before but I wanted to show them to you anyway. And they did have a seven pack of brushes. I don't think I've seen a seven pack before. It seemed like a larger size. They also had the wood letters, uh, 26 pieces. They're a nice size, uh, real nice uh, cut, and uh, probably a very good deal if you ask me. They had these plaques in the like housewares decor section. They're about four by six inches. They're pretty lightweight and they'd be pretty easy to hang up with a finishing nail or even a command strip if you're careful. Um, they're hollow, so pretty easy to hang on the wall. They also had these other plaques, um, three different types. They had the thankful, the this is us, and the bless this nest. They had these little cardboard uh, two drawer boxes. Um, they're a sort of a lightweight cardboard with nice de decor design paper on them. It's a little sticky to pull out the drawer, um, but they'd be nice for like trinkets or jewelry, uh, maybe on a vanity or something like that. Uh, I was really excited to find these candle making kits. Um, they came in four different varieties, the Blueberry Magnolia and Sea Spray Melon, the Fresh Linen Magnolia and Coastal Breeze, the Apple Cinnamon Apricot Citrus and Magnolia, and the Lavender Asian Lily and Magnolia. It seems like they all had Magnolia, um, but I think they'd be really fun, especially for people who like to maybe do sort of crafts like as a gift um, but they're not too complex you know just a fun little thing you can kind of make yourself um, yeah very nice thing to add me to a gift basket they also had these masks which would make really great gifts in a gift basket they came in a variety of uh, scents they had the hemp seed avocado the charcoal green tea Cucumber aloe, seaweed eucalyptus, the rose oil and hibiscus, the strawberry and vitamin C, and the citrus coconut water, and the pineapple glycolic acid. Um, they were one count, and uh, they're pretty nice looking. They just kind of look high end with the style of them. So they'd be really great in a basket. Another thing to add to the basket would be these facial wipes that come in wild jasmine hohoa. Jojoba, the hibiscus lavender, rose hip tea tree, ginger root peach, coconut eucalyptus, and over here there's a grapefruit, grapefruit lime. Uh, there's a space there that's probably where the orange blossom cucumber is, which you can see down here at the bottom. The packaging on these is really cute, and like I said, I think it'd be great. You can make a basket up with these, um, maybe preparing for Mother's Day or something like that. They also had these um, different items here. They had a clay mask, facial toner, jelly nutrient misc, 
mist and an overnight detox cream. They came in grapefruit, cactus water, bamboo rose butter, water, and lychee coconut water. They also had some name brand masks, the hydrogel mask and the peel off mask, both by Neutrogena deep, uh, deep clean style. Pretty cool. Before I left, I noticed this potting soil, which was eight pounds, which is kind of a weird way to measure the potting soil. Uh, they had some more in the next Dollar Tree that I visited. Now, I rarely ever go to this one. Um, it's not usually very well stocked and kind of picked over, but I wanted to check it out. They had um, some steeds still left, uh, lots of different varieties, and four for a dollar is not a bad deal. Um, lots of different cold weather or warm weather crops, um, things that would be good in containers. Um, if you're trying your hand at gardening, this is the best time to start. Also, they had these microgreen seeds. If you've ever looked at the price of um, sprouts, you'll know that a dollar to grow your own is probably a great deal. Just throw them in a tray with a wet paper towel and a sunny window, and in about five to ten days, you've got sprouts of your own. They had potting soil here, and it was hard to um, measure the difference in size between this potting soil and the one at the last Dollar Tree. It seemed a bit smaller. It was four quarts, not measured by weight. Um, and it looked like just a smaller bag, um, so kind of hard to sh tell the difference. And I was super excited to find these uh, three planters. They're stackable, um, they'd be great for lettuce or strawberries or even um, pole beans or sugar snap peas. Um, super cute and three different colors, so excited. The other thing that I was super excited to find is this rare find, these manual cutting dies for um, manual die cutting machines. They had three of them, or excuse me, four of them here. Um, three long ones, one squarish shaped one. And I was super excited to see these. I've never seen these in any of the Dollar Trees in my area. So I was very excited to find these. They also had a huge selection of the laser cut chipboard. Um, I'm not seeing these in a lot of Dollar Trees in the area, or I'm seeing a much smaller selection. They had a huge variety, especially of the words, but also of the different pictures. Um, other things I hadn't seen were these glass stickers. I've seen them on YouTube channels, of course, but nothing in my area, and I was quite excited to see a variety of the glass stickers, as well as iron-on transfers, which could go on a number of things, shirts or bags, um, basically anything you can think of. And they had these ceramic stickers. I picked some up to try them out. Um, they were pretty cool as well. So looking a little bit closer at these iron-on transfers, they had several different varieties. They had, I love this cute little slothicorn. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. Um, and then they had the flamingo one as well. Um, and, oh, what was the next one? Was girl power, yeah. Um, so for a dollar each, these are a great deal right like you can't find iron-on transfers for such a cheap price and um, great graphics and of course coffee um, yeah so back to the ceramic stickers uh, they had four different varieties of these each of the stickers had uh, three to four pieces um, lots of different styles uh, and you could put these on ceramic mugs of any type um, I think probably you'd want something with a nice smooth side though. Um, and of course I put these all back where I got them so that it looked nice and neat. I was also really excited to find these clear stamps. Um, if you go to any of your usual sort of craft stores, clear stamps are not cheap and these were a great deal. They also have these packs of paper. Um, they're pretty small packs. I mean, the pack itself is not so small, but um, the pieces are pretty small, so maybe you could use it in scrapbooking or something like that. I'd never seen them before. I don't know that I'd pick them up. Um, and then they had these cutting mats, which is, you know, really nice. Um, they are about eight by six, I think, and um, I'd not seen them before either. 
And then I was super excited to find these planters. These are a different variety than the other ones I found at the other store. They had the turtle, the fox, the jaguar, and um, the elephant. And like I said, so excited to find these. I haven't found them anywhere else. And I might have picked up all four. Super cute. Um, great for succulents or small plants. Um, windowsill sort of things or maybe something at your office. So that's it folks. Thanks for coming with me. If you enjoyed this video, um, please hit the like button or leave a comment and let me know what you want to see more of, what things you like.